I knew I couldn't handle it alone anymore. about calling. I didn't know what I should say, but Martha, the woman who took my call, she didn't need any explanations. She said, I know just what you're feeling. I've been through it myself. For the first time since it happened, there was a sense of relief. I was touching with someone else who really did understand. You hear about these kind of places, and you tuck it up in your memory, thinking, well, if it should ever happen to me, I know someplace I can go. Not believing, of course, that you'll ever need them. And then one day, you're ringing their doorbell. You are also one. Carolyn, I'm also a rape victim. You don't have to apologize for Did time. you have any trouble finding a parking place? Oh, no, I took the bus. I don't have no. a car. Why Which is you? certainly the best solution okay. for our parking problem. Why do we come? I think you like everybody here. We're all friends. Hi, everybody. This is Amy. Hi. 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 Good to see you, Amy. Come on over and sit down. Next to Christy. This is Amy and Regina and Jane. Susan, Janet. Are you feeling any better now? Christy was raped in her college dorm. He put her in the hospital for several weeks. She lost the hearing in her left ear. He beat her with an ashtray. Suzanne was assaulted by her brother's best friend. He tried to strangle her with a pillowcase. Luckily, her brother came home. Regina has two preschool children. She was raped in a public laundromat with both of them watching. He told her if she didn't let him do it, he would kill the kids. And he meant it. Louise was on her way to her daughter's house. She was sitting at a bus stop in broad daylight. He threatened her with a butcher knife. He said, you're going to do me a favor, Grandma. He forced her into the basement of an apartment house and raped her twice. Then, to show his contempt, he urinated on her before he left. He didn't leave her with much dignity, but Louise was no shrinking violet when she talked to the police. She told them everything he'd done to her. By the way, her rapist was under 16. <laughs> 